Hey guys, Jinx here, and after making a ton of investments during the Lunar New Year event, I have about 400 Pokey in luck. Ooh, that's kind of small. Yikes. So I thought it'd be a fun challenge to see if I could rebuild and earn one mil per day using just my basic reruns, some berry farming, reading a little bit, and leveling some Pokemon along the way. It seems like every money making challenge I find is all about GTL flipping, so I thought I'd try something new here. Outside of the game, I have a wife and a baby, so I only have a couple hours a day, so I thought that you guys might benefit from seeing how I make money efficiently, since like many of you, I can't just grind endless hours throughout the day. Also, you'll notice me swapping to my phone for gameplay, this is just when I find myself with a bit of time to squeeze uh, in some play, or if I get interrupted. This is sometimes it takes me two or three logins throughout the day to finish one charm. My rules for this challenge will be as follows. No buying Pokemon or items from the GTL and relisting them as they were. Number two, I can list Pokemon that I put work into either by breeding, EV training, or leveling. Also any that I catch for myself are fair game. Number three. Items such as amulet coins and charms are allowed to be purchased, but must use funds that are earned from the challenge. This is just so that I don't load up on a bunch of 100% riches charms beforehand. Other than that, I'll be using some cheap items like repels and pokeballs that I've already purchased, because keeping track of every little item would be too complicated. Number four, I can list items earned throughout this time, such as berries that I farm or EXP candies that I earn from alphas. Number five, I can only use one account during this time, so no tricking rerun timers. I sold off most of the things that I'll be using for money making in advance, such as EXP candies and Lepa berries, but I'm stocking up on some charms from the Lunar New Year event, so I will not touch the ones that I have stocked up on throughout this week. Other than that, I'll be going from my account as is. That includes any Pokemon that I already have on my PC, and I'm gonna start with my current berry rotation as well. However, other than that, I'm going to start with no seeds. I haven't stocked up any before this. I'll show you the items that are relevant, such as EXP candies and lepas and charms uh, and my current GTL listings, as I won't be claiming any of the current listings that I make before today until the end of the challenge. With those ground rules established, let's get started. It's currently 10 o'clock PM on Tuesday. So in one week, we'll see if I can reach my goal of 7 million Pokeyen. So it begins. On day one, I wanted to get a good start, so I leaned on my trusty rerun routes. I didn't have enough for an amulet coin, so I went to Route 11 in Kanto, where there are a few decent paying trainers. I cleared Route 11 quickly, and I was just short of an amulet coin with 17k earned. I found some other trainers in Kanto and earned the last thousand I needed for that coin. I bought the coin at 18,300 and got to work on my standard trainer rerun. Once I finished, I saw an alpha that appeared, and it was an Altaria. I ended up getting a pretty basic one, but still made 40k from it, so not too bad. From here, I went to my berries and harvested the crop. I wanted to get a good head start on money on day one, so I sold off the batch to a teammate pretty cheap. Now I had enough to get a 100% riches good charm. So I bought one and went to Morimoto and Cynthia and then right into my gym rerun. I finished the charm and then bought myself another amulet coin as I wanted to continue testing some gyms for my updated gym rerun route. The charm and the coin together left me with an earnings of over 600k, which put me at a total of over 900k on hand. That's quite big. Impressive. I was feeling pretty confident at this point. Right after this, I saw another alpha had popped up, so I went to catch it, and it was an alpha Lapras. I got super lucky on this one. It was an insanely good alpha. I price checked it and it was worth 325k, so I listed it up. The Smeargle that I had been leveling was pretty close to 100, so I grabbed my Rampardos and surfed down some hordes until I hit 100. I listed it up for 600k and hoped it would sell. I had a great amount of starting capital now, 
and I knew I was going to be doing some more trainer reruns this week, so I bred two more great Smeargles that I could level up and make some really good money from again. And that put day one as a wrap. So it's officially the end of day one. It's Wednesday, just after 10 o'clock, and I say today was pretty successful. We made over a mil total. However, uh, we did spend, I just calculated, 275,318 Pokien crafting these two Smeargles. Now they're pretty good. Uh, I unfortunately low rolled on one of them. Uh, the breeding market is crazy right now. I think the event kind of skyrocketed prices as people were building Pokemon for the raids. I had to go a little budget and I bought a 24 IV defense or something lower and low rolled the defense. So that kind of sucks. However, these are still really good, really desirable. So next thing we're going to do to make these sellable is I'm going to move set these. So I'm going to go sketch on, uh, fall swipe, sweet scent, soak, and spore. So tomorrow, the first thing I'll get to is move setting these smear goes. The first thing I did on day two was move set the new smear goes. The easiest way to do this is actually on Route 3 in Unova, conveniently right next to the breeders. I brought my own Smeargle and sketched a move on, then went to the Rapid Ash Hordes, got some speed EVs, leveled them up, and then got the next sketch, rinsed, and repeat until I got all four moves on the two Smeargles that I bred. Now that they were all set, I got myself another coin and jumped into another trainer rerun. I made an easy 200k from this and got a Smeargle closer to level 100 for the GTL. After the trainers, it was time to harvest my berries and buy some more seeds. This is probably the easiest 200k profit per day and I'll definitely be doing a video on how I do berries with just one account soon. Since I had a lot of capital with just over 800k at this point, I decided to invest it all into seeds so that it'd be set for the next couple days. I found a teammate to buy the berries and made just over 700k from this harvest. I noticed somebody selling very spicy seeds for a low price in trade chat, so I messaged them and got a few more seeds to add to my stockpile. After this, I got myself another 100% riches chart and did the Mori Cynthia route right into my gym rerun once again. Now I needed to make some more investments, so I went to breed some water spout blastoises. These are great for gym reruns and also, especially with these new recent raids, they've been selling really quick. They always make me great money. I have a whole video planned on them coming up pretty soon too. I was doing this while quite distracted, as you can notice I was just on mobile, uh, so I definitely made some mistakes when buying the breeders for this. It's too hard. Look at all the morons. Look at all the absolute dumbasses. Look at, look at him. Look at him. Look at, look at that idiot. But nothing too major luckily. I also allow myself to relist the mistaken purchases for the same or less than I bought them for, but I just gotta take that listing fee as a penalty for myself for making the mistake. I price checked to see how much I could make for training and evolving the Squirtles, and it was about 100k difference between Squirtle and Blastoise, so I figured that was worth it. I took four of them, went to get some special attack EVs, then some speed EVs, and leveled them to 36 to evolve. They set them up for 280k each, and hoped that they'd sell from there. At this point, I wanted to try a new method that I'd never tried before. So I looked over the market and noticed art scales were way up due to the changing movesets for raids. So I tried the Payday Thief at Undella Bay. It was pretty good money, and I actually enjoyed it a lot more than I thought I would. Also, I really want a shiny Cloyster, and I really like shiny Love Disc, especially that gold color with being on Team Gold. That would be perfect. So this seemed like a good way to go for it. I spent about an hour doing this while watching TV and earned a few scales, which was okay money, and the payday didn't hurt either. It's definitely not the most efficient, but it's not that bad as far as an AFK farming method goes, especially if you want one of the shinies here. While I was farming these, I saw that an alpha had appeared, and I went to check it out, and it was a shell gun. So I caught it and listed it up for 50k. Not a bad catch. I had time to do a trainer rerun, so I popped another coin and hopped into that. Two trainer runs in one day is a great way to make money, but I was definitely feeling burnt out from trainer and gym runs after today. By the end of the coin, it was the end of day two. Alright, so it's about 10 o'clock on Thursday. 
So day two of the challenge is done. Going into this, uh, I was a little worried about making this much per day, considering I have some limited uh, game time. But today I had a little bit of extra time, so I experimented with some new methods that I actually haven't tried before. We're sitting at only 313,000. However, after today, we made a few Blastoises, which were, are going to be a really good investment. Alongside, we stocked up on a ton of seeds for uh, making more berries. And I think we bought three Riches Charms that we can use throughout our next couple days for the gym reruns, Mori and Cynthia. So I think we're pretty well uh, we're in a good spot. We have those two Smeargles too that we're leveling up, getting ready for sale. But I think we are in a really good place to make at least a mill a day. I have a feeling we're going to be flying through this and have much more than that by the end. Anyways, with that, that's the end of day two. Let's get into day three. One day later. On day three, I started by checking my listings, leaving anything that I hadn't listed over the past two days alone. I sold the Blastoise for 280k, made 103k from heart scales, another 50k from yesterday's alpha shell gone, and I decided to try out a new money making method again. I've always wanted a shiny heat more, so I thought I'd try to make some money off flame orbs while I do a little shunting. There's a spot not too far off from a PC, so it's a great shunting location that you can do for free and make some decent money from it. However, after about 100 heat more encounters, I had one flame orb. So I decided I might as well save this for another time. Anyways, I was really enjoying art scale farming while also looking at that love disc and shelter shunt. So I went back and did that for a while. Afterwards, I did my regular berry run, collected 950 berries and sold them off for 780 each. I was about to hop into a gym rerun, but an alpha melodic spawned. I went and caught it, but it wasn't anything too special. I decided to invest a bit more money into breeding, so I made some 31 attack, 31 speed adamant shelters this time. These are great for story runs or trainer reruns, so they sell really well usually. I noticed Cloyster was selling a bit more than shelter, so I evolved them with a water stone and got them on the market, making a pretty easy 80 to 100k profit on each one that sells. I used a 100% riches charm and went and did my regular gym rerun. However, when I got to Cynthia's house, I was surprised that she wasn't there anymore. I didn't realize she's only around in the spring and summertime, so unfortunately, with the fall season upon us, we will have to wait to see our beloved Cynthia once again. After that, I grabbed a coin and collected some data on a new gym rerun route since the teleporter update. I'm excited to be close to finishing that one, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. I know that Advanced Xanarchy run is getting a lot more popularity, but I prefer the much simpler Typhlosion Blastoise strategy, and I'm pretty sure I'll be releasing a video with 30 gyms done in one hour using the simpler strategy. I had a little time left on my coin when I finished, so I hit the Unova trainers and Pia Carlos along with some other trainers until the coin ran up. Another alpha popped up, so I hopped on, caught the Houndoom. It was another one that wasn't very special, just 31 HP, 31 attack, so I listed it up for 30k and looked up the melodic and put it up for 40k. It was getting close to the end of the day, so I went to water my berries. As the day was coming to a close, I noticed that after the trainer reruns, one of my Smeargles was level 98. So I surfed down some Dawn Fan Hordes and brought it up to 100. And with that, the day came to a close. Alright, so it's the end of day 3 as it's just about 10 o'clock on Friday. So I thought we'd check in and see how our GTL listings are doing. Uh, so that was a flip. Ooh, our level 100 Smeargle sold. So just 600k from that level 100 Smeargle. And perfect timing because we just got our other Smeargle to level 100. So I'm going to pull that. Uh, these were listed before. This Lapras was that alpha, that crazy alpha we caught. So that we can pull. King Drew was before. The Squirtles were before. These two Cloisters we bred up just today and sold two out of the uh, five that we we uh, listed, I think we listed three, yeah. So I got two more, maybe I'll throw those up tonight. Uh, anything else, this Melodic was an alpha we caught earlier today. And the Flame Orb we got last night and the Houndoom from the alpha today. The rest of those were all posted up before. And like I said, I'm not gonna grab any of those until after this challenge is done. All right, so looking pretty good. Ending day three with 
mill along with a level 100 smear gold that we're about to list and a couple other things on the market already so we're doing really really good we also have a few extra i stocked up on some exp charms or sorry some riches charms so i have a few of i think two 100 riches charms and i'll double check the footage but i think i have a couple 75 percent riches charms as well so we're in really really good shape here all right that's uh putting a close to day three now day four is just about to begin Today, I really didn't have much time to play at all. I hopped on to squeeze in a deconstructed gym rerun in the minutes spread out throughout the day, but it was actually my birthday, so we ended up going out with family for most of this day. A huge shout out to Iron Bundles, a viewer who sent me a gifting game, especially because they happened to send it right on my birthday. This was the first time anyone has done anything like that for me, so thank you so much for that. So after the gym rerun, that pretty much puts a wrap on day four. All right, so it's the end of day four of this challenge, and let's see where we're at. Unfortunately, today I didn't have very much time to play. I basically made it through my gym rerun, did some hard scale farming for uh, maybe 20, 30 minutes. Um, so we're actually going to post up a couple of things there. Our hard scales, let's see where they're at. 9,000, one minute ago. I'll just undercut this 942 one, because these are going to fly out of here really quick. All right, so that'll make us a nice uh, 40, about uh, 45k after the listing fee. All right, let's see where we're at though. So we have some things to collect. I know it's sold. This Smeargle sold almost instantly, which is pretty cool. So that's another 600k. Uh, Dragonite, King Joe were listed before. These two Blastoises, these are those ones we made. And EV Train, uh, 280k from each of those. No, those cost us about 90k to make each. So that's a huge profit from both of those. Uh, these Squirtles, unfortunately I listed before, also cost me about 90k to make. This Cloister was one we made made yesterday that one cost another about 90k so really good profit there and these heart scales literally just sold instantly maybe i should have listed them a little higher uh other than that uh, i just sold off the shards and mystic waters i'm not going to touch those but uh just because i've really gotten into this heart scale farming thing i really enjoy it i really want a love disc or a uh shelter as a shiny so I've kind of been enjoying that one a lot. So I wanted to get rid of my energy powder, mystic water, and shards just because I'm picking up a lot of those with my meow. So it's just easier to sell them off if I just got rid of those. So I'll just, I won't touch those for now though. All right. So the end of day four and we're at 4.3 mil. And that was even with today barely playing just over an hour. Uh, basically just watered my lepa berries. Oh, speaking of which, I actually have some lepa berries. See if I can sell those off. All right. So we're at 4.3 mil and look at that. We have all... Just about seven, about 700k worth, which puts us at pretty much five mil already on day five. So we're already a mil ahead. Uh, we're on a really good track to finish this up. So uh, with that, again, I got some family stuff going on. So I will be gone for this night. Uh, hopefully day five, I'll have a little bit more time to get some farming in. And then we can even smash this goal up. Maybe, hey, maybe we'll hit 10 mil by the end. All right. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Today was still pretty busy outside of the game as I still had some family visiting from out of town, so I didn't have too much time to play today either. I started by making some more rerun squirtles. I made nine so that I could level a few up into Blastoises and then keep the others to sell off as squirtles. It's important when you're breeding for profit to not saturate the market, otherwise prices will drop, so splitting them into two different markets just helps making the money easier. Afterwards, I ran to my farm, collected about 930 berries, quickly found a buyer, and made an easy 720k. I went back to Mori and did another gym rerun. I'm usually pretty consistent with my gym and trainer reruns, but at this point in the challenge, keeping up with them every day has definitely had me feeling a little burnt. But I definitely need to keep up with it to stay on track with the goal. Oh, but I will! Even if I have to come back tomorrow! And the next day! 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 Next day, and the next day, and the next day, and the next day. Phone call, Mr. Plankton. And the next day, and the next day, and the next day. And the next I took four of my Squirtles and EV trained them and then evolved them into Blastoises and kept the other five to be listed as Squirtles. And with that, another day was in the books.
All right, so we're now at the end of day five. It's about 10 o'clock on Tuesday, and I thought it would be a good time to check the GTL. We spent quite a bit of money today. We're actually down to 3.5 mil at the end of day five. However, we did do a lot of investing, and I was checking the listings. I didn't pull anything yet, but it looked like we made quite a bit today. So again, some of these were made before the challenge, but this Blastoise was that one we made uh, a couple of days ago. These 219 squirtles we did before the challenge, but all these 179 or uh, basically 180k squirtles we did do during this challenge. So that's six of them. I think that sold. And we just finished up a couple more. So hopefully those guys are always really good money makers. Uh, so hopefully we make a good chunk of change off that. Uh, other than that, I think that's pretty much all the listings from the sales for today. Uh, so with that, that puts us at the end of day five, just under five mil. However, we're just under five mil. And what do we got? We listed today, we caught this Mancino. Uh, so that's pretty cool. But the big ones, we got these two Blastoises, so that's just over 500 more K. I have two more Blastoises that I haven't listed, and we still got four Squirtles on the market here. So pretty good amount of money. We still got these Cloisters hanging around here from there. So we got a lot of good investments in the market just from breeds that we made. So I think we're going to be in a really good spot in the next couple days. All right. Well, with that, I'm going to put a close on day five and get grinding on day six. You have two days to learn seven million pokemon. I think I won a second opinion. You have 172,800 seconds to live. Ah, that's a much higher number. Today, Red came off his reset timer, so I went straight for him. I didn't have a cheese set up ready for this week's Gen 5 team, so I just grabbed a good team and went for it. He beat me on the first attempt, but I pulled through on the second try. With a 100% richest charm active, that net me about 200k alongside 7,500 BP. I jumped right into a trainer rerun from there. After finishing the trainer run, I went to spend the 7,500 BP. So I bought a Rocky Helmet and 27 Focus Sashes and sold them on the GTL. This is about 100k additional profit from the red fight once they sell. I wanted to try something different out, and Absol has always been a dream shiny of mine, so I figured I'd try Life Orb Farming from Absol's. I tested a few locations for about an hour each, and I barely saw any Absol's and none gave me any Life Orbs. This is a terrible money making method and a terrible way to shunt for Absol, so I gave up with that. I had some time near the end of the day, so I popped another charm and went into my gym rerun for the day. At the end of the charm, day six was over. All right, so we're at the end of day six. Today went pretty well. We did the red refight, which earns a ton of money. Then we went right into a trainer rerun from there. Luckily, that red refight doesn't just get you the pokey end, but it actually gets you 7,500 BP. So we got ourselves a rocky helm and some focus ashes which we put up on the GTL, so we'll see how much we get from that. We also spent a lot of the day doing the life orb farming. I want a shiny Absol really, really bad, and I've heard you can make some money doing life orb farming, but uh, yeah, I spent like an hour or so life orb farming today and didn't find a single one. So maybe a method uh, I'm not going to use again. But it was nice to change it up and uh, try something different. We also did a gym rerun, just finished that up. Let's check our GTL and see what listings we have. So these two blast voices we made last night, perfect. We got those up. That Rocky Helmet we earned yesterday from the ro from the Red Reef fight we got. Um, and those Focus Sashes we got. This Mancino was that uh, Alpha. It wasn't very good, but still earns a little bit for us. And other than that, doesn't look like we got anything else to claim. However, that puts us at 6,891,000. Wow. So we're just like 100K off of our end goal. So all we got to do on our final day is 100K. Not going to lie, six days of grinding through trainer reruns and uh, gym reruns definitely starts to lose its merit after a little bit but if i've learned anything from this challenge it's that those trainer and gym reruns are just miles more efficient than most other money making methods breedings made me a lot throughout this challenge as well but those two you could just fall back on and earn so much which which is unfortunate because i was kind of hoping to try some new methods but both the 
all like the life orb and the flame orb and i even tried poison orbs for a little while i don't even think i recorded it because didn't get anything from it but yeah the definitely the most efficient ways to just grind through some money really quick is those uh reruns and breeding so uh with that one more day 100k i think we can do it uh we'll see you guys tomorrow so i mean to tell you i want to take you out for lunch for your last day oh what do you think tomorrow lunch you and me okay this was the final day of the challenge so i wanted to make sure that i had sold everything that i earned or bred throughout the challenge i pulled any listings that hadn't sold and put them back up way underpriced hoping that they'd sell within the day i'd never recommend doing this but for this challenge i wanted to see what i could end the day with since i was in a really good place with my total money i decided to just chill and fish some more hard scales I don't know why, but this has become one of my favorite money-making methods, even though it isn't very efficient. Maybe it's because I really like Love Disc and Shelter Shinies, but it's also super easy to do while you're just hanging out on the couch watching TV with your family. An Alpha Parasect popped up, so I went to get it. These are pretty valuable usually, because its hidden ability is damp, and it also has access to Spore and False Swipe. I highly recommend everyone gets a hidden ability Parasect, just in case you run into a self-destructing shiny. I got pretty lucky with this Alpha, since I actually got two extra hidden ability Parases, but they weren't really worth that much. But make sure you always check the hidden ability on Swarms of an Alpha that have a Pokemon with a good hidden ability. I ran and got my berries, and quickly sold them off for 725k. I popped my last charm of the challenge, starting off with Mori again, and then went into my gym rerun. Near the end of the day, another useful hidden ability alpha spawned with Sableye, especially with the raids that have been going on during the Lunar New Year event, and knowing that raids are going permanent, this is going to be a very valuable hidden ability Pokemon with the Prankster ability. I listed up the final alpha along with all the EXP candies that I earned throughout the week, and with that, my time was over. Alright guys, so it was just about 10 o'clock on Tuesday, which means day 7 is a wrap. We already hit our goal today, but we have even more to check out. We have some on our GTL, and I think we're going to smash this thing out. So let's check out what we can claim from our GTL. Earlier today, somebody, a bunch of people posted a ton of Blastoises and Squirtles. So I pulled mine and relisted them, put them way, way too cheap in my opinion. But I wanted them to sell before uh, the challenge ended. I would usually never sell them this price. I wouldn't recommend leveling them up and selling them for this price personally. Um, but again, I was just trying to do this for the challenge. So we got those. We got that cloister sold. And all these squirtles we made yesterday. Again, this is what I usually sell them for. Uh, it's still pretty good money. They cost about 90k each to make. So it's still pretty good. I relisted this cloister because I noticed it didn't have skill link. So I dropped the price and sold pretty quick. These are the EXP candies I've earned throughout the alphas that I got this week. So sold those off. These are some of the other ones that I got from the uh, EXP candies this week. This Sableye was the alpha that popped up today. So we caught that. And these are those heart scales that I caught just earlier today. And the alpha Parasect from also earlier today. Let's check if we got any more. Oh, a couple more. Another. Uh, those are those hidden ability Paras that came with the Parasect and oh all of these <laughs> remorades that i bought by accident because they were oh i bought a bunch of males instead of females when i was breeding my blastoises all right so with that i think we are wrapped up and at the end of day seven without touching a gtl flip we're at just shy of 10 mil just it just makes you feel good when you look at it, it makes you happy you almost can't help it just just sort of warms up your whole day so you can definitely make really good money in this game without gtl flipping i know everybody says gtl flipping is the best and most efficient way to make money and it absolutely can be but i know it intimidates a lot of people and i just want you all to know it's not the only way to make money you absolutely can make a mill a day pretty easy just by uh, doing your reruns doing a little bit of breeding, maybe learn a, a couple skills in the game. I know I didn't always use the most efficient ones, like heart scales and stuff, but if you find a method that you like, then just stick to it. You'll make pretty good money in it. There's a ton of money to be made from dittos. That's another one I go for pretty often, but didn't really do too much this week. But there's so many different types of money-making methods that you can try out and find one that you like. 
So with that, we were very successful in this and we can finally put a wrap on this week. I'm gonna head back to the GTL and I'm gonna go start flipping with this 10 mil. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and consider subscribing for more regular Poke MMO content. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments below. I love reading those and I try to get back to everybody who leaves a comment on every video. So thank you for watching and I'll see you all next week.